Hey, ain't we been through it all? Then we sleep on them floors. Everybody we thought we needed, we don't need them no more. Run it up, and check the score. No, I'm balling on YouTube. What is the deal? It's your boy, the Truthy Dig, and I know what you're thinking. Hat? Broncos theme team? Kinda, sorta, but not really. What this video is about, and shout out to everyone. I want to say thank you so much. We hit a thousand subscribers yesterday. Man, I couldn't have done it without y'all. I had goals that I wanted to reach um, at the beginning of the year, and basically I've reached most of them by the end of February. Obviously, I put in the work, but at the same time, you guys have shown love and support to me, so I couldn't have done it without you guys, so thank you. So you know what I need? Continue, like, and subscribe to the video. Again, like I said, thank you so much. I appreciate it. TikTok, Twitter, um, Instagram, Twitch, everywhere. You guys have been going absolutely bonkers, and I, I truly do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. But this is only the beginning. We're just starting. Let's go to the moon and take off with this, all right? Okay, so today, what it is about is how to build a theme team. So there's a couple ways you can go about it, which is full theme team, 50 out of 50, or hybrid theme team, 25 out of 50, 25, 25. I've been getting a lot of questions with this. Um, obviously, look, I know we're late in the Madden cycle, but it seems like a video people want to watch into how exactly how to build a theme team, where to start, what players to use, and such things of that nature. So um, that's what this video is today. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the very first thing that I would say, you see on my screen here, mutt.gg. If you need to know how to build a theme team, go to mutt.gg and up top, click on theme team. This gives you a breakdown of every single theme team. I'll go to the Broncos, because that's what I'm talking about today, and what players you can get for each team. The highest overall players, positions, things of that nature, right? I think this is very crucial, especially when building a 25 out of 25 theme team, especially for 50 out of 50 as well. And a theme team is where you construct a specific team based off of a specific team. So for example, the Broncos, or if you go Broncos and Rams, or if you go Broncos and Chiefs, don't you do that. But that's the point of a theme team. You can go 50 out of 50, or you can typically go 25 out of 50 for a multiple teams, which I will kind of maybe showcase my no money spent team because I am 25, 25, 25, which that's a hybrid. But that's how you do a theme team and mutt.gg is gonna help you get on your way. All right, so we're back on the screen. Now you guys are probably thinking, why do a theme team? Now, the reason why most people do a theme team is for the boost that it provides. So as you can see, this is my pure Broncos theme team. So we're 58 out of 50. But as you can see, for 50 out of 50, it gives you plus two strength, plus two jump, plus two agility and acceleration, which, okay, that matters. But the big thing it gives you is plus two, two speed. So for every 25, you get a plus one out of each one of these. So for 25 out of 50, you get plus one strength, plus one jump, agility, deceleration, speed. For 50 out of 50, you get all of them. This helps you keep up with most of the meta teams. If you want to use your favorite team, but your team may be lacking. For example, my Broncos theme team doesn't quite have the receivers of other theme teams. But because Jerry Judy can get up to 99 speed because I have strat cards, Brandon Marshall gets up to 97, Tim Patrick gets up to 98, it makes the team more viable. All right, now when it comes to constructing the theme team, you're thinking where to start. The first thing that I will start for every theme team is Team Diamonds. Now, why Team Diamonds specifically? Because these Team Diamond cards allows you to get times three chemistry for each individual team. So, for example, the Broncos Team Diamond is Gary Zimmerman. Now, I know for Team Diamonds 1, which you probably just seen on your screen compared to Team Diamonds 2, Team Diamonds 1, you only need the power up to get times three, but Team Diamonds 2, you need the full card. So, for example, for the Broncos, it was Delta O'Neill. I would need the full 95 to get the times three. Whereas with the first team diamond, which is Gary Zimmerman, I would only need the power up. Now, sometimes you can power those cards fully up if they're good cards, but let's say they're backup cards. So, for example, Gary Zimmerman, right? You've seen on my team, I have Tony Baselli starting the left tackle. Um, I could just use Gary Zimmerman's power up to get the times three. That's already six slots starting off onto your theme team. Now, the next part of your theme team, what you want is the stock and stuffer. Um, now, why the stock and stuffer? Again, this gives you times two chemistry. To your specific team so remember we're at times three for the team both team diamonds and times two for the stock and stuffers so you're already at eight out of the 25 if you're trying to go 25 out of 25 or eight out of the 50 if you're going to try to go 50 out of 50. all right so we're back at my team here now reason why i got back to my team another important position to have is the team captain again why the team captain because it gives you times three chemistry of that specific team. So you can see from my Broncos, we're at times three. 
So you remember times three for the team captain, times three for the two te team diamonds, and then times two for the stock and stuff. So you already reaching 11 out of either 25 chemistry or 11 out of 50 chemistry, which goes a long way when allow you to put people in other positions. Now, another thing that is crucial, and this is more for hybrid theme teams because it allows players to get multiple chems, and it's really an example on my uh, no money spent. But for example, this Roger Saffold. So there's a lot of these cars where they get all AFC Kims or all NFC Kims and things of that nature. So for Roger Saffo, right, he gets all AFC Kims, so he gets Broncos. But let's say you wanted to do a Broncos and Rams theme team, right? He would get all AFC Kims, which is the Broncos, but then you can go down here and change his team, team chemistry where you can get Rams. So he therefore will be touching the Rams theme team and providing to the Broncos theme team, both plus ones to one. And there's other cards like this, like the Jordan Whitehead free safety. Again, all you need is the power up. He gets all NFL team chems, but if you got like say for example, Buccaneers, you would get times two because he actually played for the Bucks. Same thing with um, Dominican Sue, he gets all NFC team chems, but because he played for the Rams, Bucks, Lions, if you put those specific team chems on him, he gets double of those. Now, I don't think I have him in, so I'll have to go to my binder real quick and show you. But for example, Emmanuel Sanders, that is a prime example, which I will put him in now. He gets all AFC Kims, so he naturally gets Broncos team Kim right. But then, if you wanted to put a 49er team Kim on him, you can put a 49er team Kim on him down here. So if you can see, you see he gets times to the Broncos, he gets Broncos there and Broncos there. So, but if he got like double 49ers, so so he gets his natural team of 49ers, and let's say you want to do another one, you get his other team of 49ers. Same thing works with the Steelers, Saints, and Bills. So those are crucial more for running hybrid theme teams, but even if you wanted to do like a full Steelers theme team, for example, you get time to Kim here because you're able to put the one that he gets baked into his car and the one he naturally get for playing for the Steelers. So after doing all that, you should be around, if we obviously calculated, around 15 to 17 in terms of the theme team. Obviously, if you're 25 out of 25, it works great. Um, but if you're 50 out of 50, what to do next? Start filling up backup positions. So if you look at my backup positions, left guard, he's just a go. That he's just there. Obviously, he's there because he's not. Um, and this is me. I'm really trying to build up this team. So that's why you have most of my players you know, fully powered up. But getting backups, um, this Marshall Lynch is crucial because he's a, most teams may not have a fullback, so he gets fullback Kim for all teams. So that's an automatic card. So you don't have to have all your cards power up like I do. I do it because this is my Broncos theme team account, and that's the series I run, right? So that's important, filling up backups and things of that nature and getting cards like the team cap or the, the – um, the team one season exchange players like T uh, Junior Seau, and I don't have him here because I have um, T Tony Baselli. These cars get all team Kim, so you can obviously help your team out if they're lacking in a specific area. So for example, I could trade in Junior Seau for Devin Hester and give me a better receiver there, but I'm happy with my receivers, right? Um, obviously having Tony Baselli, I could trade him in and get Taylor Mays. No matter who you have, just make sure they have the team Kim. Obviously having Cam Chancellor, who is the Mutt Master, um, or ultimate season champion as a called now he gets every team Kim so that's great as well so having these specific cards there and then from that point it's just building out your roster um, putting your players when you work where you want to put them uh, this is more for a 50 out of 50 theme team as you can see but like I said the nuts and bolts of it remains the same you start with the team diamonds after the team diamonds you go to the stock and stuffers after the stock and stuffers, you make sure your team captain's in order in terms of their specific chemistry. And then, like I said, these specific players like the Saffos, the Emmanuel Sanders, and things of that nature, make sure they have those specific chemistries. And from that point, like I said, have Mutt.gg up to build your theme team um, and build it slowly but surely. And if you're on kind of a budget, only upgrade players that you know are you going to play with. For example, have your receivers upgraded. Get your line just to a 90 so you can work with the tight end, you know, corners. If you don't really play with linebackers, don't upgrade your linebackers. Um, just put them up high enough where they can be usable if they do get on the field, but upgrade your safeties and things of that nature. So theme team, it, it is expensive to do because remember, you got to get specific cards for a specific team. You're not just going to have all any players you want. So that's why I say do it slowly but surely unless you got the coins then go at it that way. All right, to end off the video, I decided to hop over to my No Money Spent team and show you exactly what I meant by hybrid theme team. So you can see, um, I'm 25 Bengals, 25 San Francisco, 25 Rams. Now, remember how I was telling you about two players who get multiple team teams? Let me click on Cincinnati and you'll see who lights up on my team. You see how Roger Saffold lights up? 
you see it right there on my screen I can't click over to him because then it'll go away so but I'll show it again Roger Saffo oh, you see how he lights up Emmanuel Sander lights up as well so that shows you that they're getting that team kim for them but then let's go to like San Fran for example Emmanuel Sanders is getting the uh, San Fran times two kim as well now if we go to the Rams see Saffo is getting the Rams kims as well so these type of things allow you to build hybrid theme teams if there are you know multiple teams you want to obviously play with if you have favorite players like for example i'm running cincinnati strictly for ocho cinco i said that in my update video but these typical cards like Sappho, and even if we go to my defense and you look at um jordan whitehead when i click on whatever team he's going to be lit up see he's lit up he's lit up he's lit up you see what i mean so this is where it can be a benefit where he's getting boosts from all three teams. So if I actually had him fully powered up, which I can't because I messed around and didn't do the solos. But even with this, just his power up, he still gets all that those chemistry. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully this helps break it down a little bit what you need to do in terms of a starting point. Like I said, mutt.gg is the first thing you should have up and have theme teams up. Find out what team diamonds are for the specific teams you're trying to build, whether it's 50 out of 50 or if it's 25 to 50 like myself next find the stock and stuffers for those specific teams like i said that's another times two chemistry and then also your team captain now they can only have times three for one team but obviously that can bode well if you're specifically trying to help for that one team um and then after that man just those specific cards like i was telling you saffold and all those make sure they're in order um so that way if you're doing multiple team themes or a hybrid theme team they're touching each one of those theme teams and lastly, just build um, slowly but surely. Build te build the team's needs first instead of the wants, um, and then go from there. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Hopefully this explains the theme team and what how build it and what it is and things of that nature and the boost it provides. Um, we'll be live on Twitch this weekend, 7:30 Eastern. And always come through. We'd love to see some new faces. But as always, I'm signing out with that double mahalo salute. Deuces.